my wife pulled me inside and said, finish your sauce. So I had to go out of the garden. Now I'm in the kitchen, finishing my sauce. I also have a hoodie, but more importantly, I have an apron on. <laughs> what are you prepping? Some veggies to put with the sauce. Mm -hmm. With our pasta we're going to use some gluten-free pasta but you very, need only a very tiny bit of actual pasta if you have the right and enough veggies okay so we're gonna put some olive oil in here and start warming it up put the olive oil in there it helps to have the oven on all right so yeah as you can see olive oil and a smaller pot so i got two garlics here this is a soft neck variety i'm not going to be using but i did grow Oil. And this is this hard neck, but it's the smallest of my batch. You want to always use your smallest garlics because you want to plant your biggest cloves. So I'm going to use my small garlic cloves here. There we go. See how I pop the top off? These are small, so I'm going to do two small ones. These are very small. having a meltdown our neighbor kid is having a meltdown and our kids are having a meltdown this YouTube video is off to a great start I know she's just so hungry she's just so hungry give that baby some food where is my mom Alright, now we're going to add this garlic to the oil. Hey Carter, your chores done? Then get off the tablet. Do not get on your desk until your chores are done. Alright, so in this saucepan I got onions and garlic <laughs> and carrots and olive oil. All right, and so this sauce is gonna to continue to cook for the water to go down a little bit. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go run to the garden, get some fresh basil, get some fresh oregano, if I had it, some fresh parsley. And yeah, I'm gonna put it right directly in here now. All right, so I got some various basils from the garden. These are basil flowers from two different types of basil. Those go right into the pot. So I just pull, hope you saw that. I'm gonna drop the flowers in. Don't put this in because this is hard and woody. Nobody wants that in their sauce. Come on. Next, I'm gonna chop up some of this basil and I'm gonna throw that in there. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna put some of this basil in there too. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit more. I like basil. The rest I'll use for some sort of pesto or something. And finally, we're gonna do this oregano. Not very much here, I gotta go get more. Cover it up, turn it down as low as you can, take it off the heat even a little bit, if you got an electric stove, and come back in a little bit, maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes, and your sauce will be done. So there you have it, that's how I make my sauce. Now, of course, I'm leaving some ingredients out because then it wouldn't be my sauce, 
but that's the basis of it. So give it a like. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. See you on the next episode.